Hey, hey, I think I'm live. I'm gonna play some more Medieval 2 Total War Online. And um, I got my laptop positioned better so that I can see the chat a little bit better. I'm still gonna miss a lot of the chat though, but we're gonna go online. And we're gonna find some battles. What's this chat room? I wanna join it just because it's it's got a morbidly uh, odd name to it. Chat room. Oh, and a response from host. Let me refresh my uh, YouTube. Um, if I can't find people to play here, I'm gonna jump on Men of War. Maybe I don't know. I, I really wanted this to be a medieval two stream. All right. So guys, I think some people are watching right now. So I'm I'm waiting for some uh, games to join, or I can host my own game. Howdy doody guys! Ooh, Tom with the Thompson, Baron. Alright. Well, we might have some people joining soon. I'm gonna host my game. My first game is gonna be a 1v1. So it's called 1v1 Max 6 Cav. So, we'll just do the uh, grassy. Make it midday. Late period. Okay. What's up, guys? Who do we got here? ADG Reviews, Body Hodge, Knights87. Do you ever play single player? No, not really. Hello, Brazil. Ooh, it looks like Imperator Augustus is coming on. Let's HRE it up, guys. We're going to set the money to 11000 And we'll see who uh, who joins up first, because Augustus said he's going to join. If enough people uh, join this uh, chat, or this uh, lobby, then uh, we can do a free-for-all for, with four players. Your game is not showing up for me. Is... Is anyone else having that problem? As elite raiders, they can't see the game. Oh, you meant like in the game, probably. Um, it should be up there. Can you guys see my game? Let me know, guys. Oh, there's elite raider. I guess he can't see my game for whatever reason. I'll just have to remake it, I guess. I'm gonna remake it, guys. Alright, it's being remade. Alright, it's remade now. Are you in the second February tournament? I'm not gonna join that. I'm focusing on the Medieval 2. Oh, look at this. Still remember the Cav spam. Well, um, I'm gonna set the, uh, the Cav max to 6. Ooh, hello, Ray Kitty. Hello, Ricky. Alright, apparently people can't see my game, so I'm gonna leave. And let someone else host a game, I guess. Alright. Alright, uh... If Suicidal Sheep says, hello, Palm. What kind of game are you hosting, Sheep? You blocked me? I don't know, did I? <laughs> Perhaps, I don't remember. All right. Uh-oh, Sam says, does someone see cast spam? Oh, hello, Jake Conrad. Been a watcher for eight years. Thank you, man. Mike Bueno says, greetings from Brazil. Well, greetings from Florida. This guy, Plautus, he went on my channel like this talking trash to me.
But if you go to... Oh yeah, it was... I made a clown, a clan announcement, and then Plautus came on and started talking trash to me. But if you go to that video, you can see what he was saying. And this isn't the first time he's done this. Plautus has come to my YouTube channel many times. I've blocked his accounts. And he just trolls hardcore. My flaws. Wait. Yeah, do you guys see what Suicidal Sheep is saying? Freaking, uh... Freaking troll. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, Florida Gang. What's up, Florida Gang? What's up, Walrus? What's up, Luke? Look at, look at Suicidal Sheep. Uh, suicidal. CWB is the most common role set in Rome Total War. And FYI... I spent most of my years playing no rules, so I don't know what this guy's yapping about. I'm gonna join this guy's game. Elite Raider. See, this is why I block people like Suicidal Sheep. Oh my god, this guy just added me on, on Steam as a friend, Suicidal Sheep. Like, can you guys see what harassment is? This is what harassment is. He keeps making new new things to harass me. New uh, YouTube accounts. Alright, I don't know what period this is, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to pick uh, probably the, I don't know. Macedonia? I've not been to Macedonia. Wait, what kind of game is this? Is this a... I guess it's a free-for-all, I guess. Which I'm okay with. Wait, who did he pick? Milan. All right, we're gonna go with this, these units here. Imperial Knights. Am I on vanilla? I am indeed on vanilla, medieval tea vanilla. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure how long I'm playing today because tomorrow, ugh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm filming my RC videos. So I gotta prepare, I gotta charge my batteries. It's gonna involve three RC cars, so if you guys are interested in that, uh, go to my other channel. And it should be edited by Sunday, I'm assuming. We'll see though. All right, let's get some Pobby's crossbows. Oh, you know, I didn't see the rolls, was it? Max six cav, no artillery, no, okay. Okay. We're gonna make it like CWB here with eight archers. Okay, let's put the uh, 
upgrades on my cav. Alright guys. We're gonna try this. Did you remove suicidal sheep from the stream? Nope, I didn't remove them, I'm just ignoring them. Why I don't understand why people when they get blocked, they just want to keep harassing me. It's like I've never done anything to this guy. He's famous on Rome Total Warfare as harassing people. So at some point I say, enough with that crap, I'm just gonna block you. And then he keeps coming back with with a new accounts. Free for all is fine with me. What's the other channel called? It is X Prince of Macedon X. Sam Shorter says Alexander the Great is overrated. By what context? Never lost a single battle. Fought all over the world, and I don't know. Uh, changed uh, the course of Europe and Asia. Single-handedly, so why don't you tell me who your favorite commander is, Sam Schroeder, and we'll see how how underrated your your favorite is. James Hahir says wanted to play with you. Well, I'm playing on Medieval too. It's pretty easy to spot me. All right, there's two HREs right now for some reason. Guessing it's a server issue. I don't know, um, I hosted a game, no one could join me. King Christopher says, I don't play this game anymore. I guess you're right. I'm not really playing it. It's more like it's playing me. Can you guys see the chat? Yeah, I, I can't see... Uh... Wait, check the real ones YouTube channel. Hey King. Anyways, uh, I am ready to go, but I don't think the other people are ready to go. What's up, Alex? How are you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty pumped for the weekend. Not sure if you caught this, but I'm filming my uh, my General Lee RC video tomorrow. Pretty excited. All right, take care, Ray Kitty. Uh, there'll be other streams. I never said Alexander Great was underrated. <laughs> so happy you are streaming. Been a fan for ages. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> King, you're holding up the stream. Anyways, it's going to be a free-for-all with three players, so it's not really going to be fair, but it's going to be fun for you guys, though, I think. So, the easiest way to win a three-player free-for-all on Last Man Standing is just to sit out of the fight, let the first two people fight, and then you pretty much win.
All right, well, you guys, what are you guys up to? Oh, it looks like Ray Kitty is uh, staying. Luke says, up to four hours from now, I should stay on. Yeah, I'm not sure how the servers work in this game. Um, but I'm looking right now, let's see. There seems to be a... Well, nope, no one's really in this chat right now. Yeah, but that one guy, Suicidal Sheep slash, aka uh, Plautus on YouTube, I think I destroyed him in one of my videos, or maybe two of my videos, or maybe more, and he was saying that in real world there's no rules, and that I should learn how to play the game. Like, I used to play no rules all the time. The reason why people play rules is so that there's not abuse, and the reason why I play rules is so that more people join. But yeah, Plautus has been... Uh, harassing my channel for years and I watch him his videos he seems really unhinged to be honest yep that's the old HRE it's not holy it's not Roman and it's not really an empire what's up supreme sorry I'm just waiting for the uh, the game to start and then and then we'll have a battle here here we go so it's a three-player free-for-all last man standing and I'm not going to sit out of the fight. I'm going to dive into whoever is next to me. Which means I'm going to lose the fight. Because whoever stays out of the first fight is going to win. Let's go see what everyone has in terms of money. Ooh, Elite spent all of his money. I do like the Byzantines actually too. From medieval time. Ouch! That hill's not so kind to me. See, is there a way around him? Alright, well. If I deploy down here, I will have a disadvantage to that. So I'm going to have to get up here and then come down to uh, level ground. I don't want to get sandwiched. Alright, so I'm going to deploy next to the Byzantines. Alright, what's everyone saying? Hey, it's uh, Lemgart Andre again. War Exile says, the good old days. Yes, Medieval 2 was the last of the good old days. I did like Napoleon a lot as well, though. Shoot, I need to get over there fast. So my original plan was to deploy up here, but if I did that, I would have been so far away from the battle, but as it turns out, I'm still far away from the battle. But I didn't want to deploy down here, because then I had to fight uphill against both players, so I had to do that stupid deployment. So I'm going to get over here as fast as I can. Advantage, I can't write. I agree with that. Being a declining empire is poetic in a changing world. That's why I love reading about, you know, Macedon after its heyday. You know, the days of Philip V. Maybe place two of the peasant crossbows in the front and loose and close with the hobbies. What 
wait, what kind of troops does the Byzantines have? A lot of Varangian Guard, it looks like. And, uh, dismounted Latin cons. Oh shoot, one of my troops is not coming with me. I didn't I didn't highlight him, so now he's way back over there now. So anyways, this is what's happening right now. In order to avoid deploying at the bottom of a hill, I had to either deploy way up here or up here to fight um, Milan on equal terms, but Milan ended up deploying against the Byzantines, so now I have no opponent. What is he building a swastika? Oh, can, can I even say that on stream? I don't know, I might get banned from... <laughs> it's an Asian swastika, guys. Alright. What's up, Conradson? And Minecraft asks, is it scored? No, this is actually um, Last Man Standing. It was supposed to be a 1v1, I think. But then uh, King Christopher Corbex joined, so now it's a it's a three-player free-for-all on Last Man Standing. So basically, whoever doesn't fight first is going to win. So it's looking like the Byzantines are going to win on virtue of not having an opponent. Man, I can't believe I messed up with this unit right here. I have to, I have to run him over here. See that? I thought I highlighted all my units at first, so I'm gonna have to run these peasants over. Not run them over with a car, but just run them over. I'm gonna rain heck upon Milan from up here. Nice. Can you press spacebar to see uh, pre troop set up? Does that help? So it looks like, uh, well, Byzantines are coming right for me. He's gonna try to bypass Milan to get to me. And I should probably put my guys in loose formation here, huh? Alright, this guy thinks I'm going to fight him first. Uh, the nearest opponent right now to me is Milan. Alright, so I've got the next, I got a height advantage here. Actually, I need to spread out. I thought I would have been out of range, but I'm not. The last battle of Byzantines was truly epic, even with the Emperor fighting to the death in the siege and dying honorably. Respect for him for sure. Indeed, I agree. What's up, Justin Lasik? Alright, are all my crossbows in position? It looks like they are. And I know my guys aren't spread out in the most optimal way, but this is not bad. I want to hit these, uh, these guys. Remember, these crossbows are... Apparently really sweet at taking out armor, so let's let's see up close how well they uh, take out this armor. I've lost one crossbow so far. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that was my late response here. I'm gonna have to counter charge. Luckily, my crossbows were really sweet in delaying these guys here. That's one thing I found out about this game, it's way different than Rome Total War, is your archers or crossbows can actually stop a cav charge from moving forward. It, they hit them and then they, they just lose momentum or something. It's kind of weird. Oh crap, someone's calling me. Alright, let's target this unit now.
All right, I'm gonna re reshuffle my uh, crossbows here. Target next cab unit. I will. Man, poor uh, poor Milan. He's sandwiched between two people right now. Anyways, yeah, here's a mistake that I made. I kept my cab so far away from my uh, my archers. And that's why he felt so compelled to charge forward like that. I was able to stop his charge, but yeah, that was a mistake on my behalf, leaving my cab so far away. Alright, let's target these guys. See these dudes? Let's target them. And now that my cab's close by, he won't be able to do anything about this. He's gonna have to move back. Actually, these guys don't need to be up there. Yeah, look at my crossbows. I think I have like three units targeting this unit of uh, Famiglia Ducali. And I know I butchered that pronunciation. <laughs> what is this unit? Peasants? Let's send some Teutonic dudes to take him out with a charge. No, he's gonna pull back. Can he pull back in time though? That's the question. Uh, yeah, he can. <laughs> back! Back, I say! But you know what? That's gonna get his, his, uh, his cab moving forward, which I can now target now. Now these uh, crossbows are coming forward really, really high up, so I'm gonna charge him with my cav. Don't send the cab, you know, not worth it. Just ignore the peasants. Yeah, I pulled back. I, I saw what he's doing, I pulled back. There we go. Oh, I guess a cat fight's gonna start now. Ah, it's not the way I wanted it, but okay, here we go. Alright, that's gonna force him back downhill. Oh, now he's coming. Okay, let's fix him in place and then uh, flank him. Now the businesses are coming really fast, by the way, so I need to hurry this up. Let's get a nice flanking charge here. Do I have any more cab? I got one cab unit up here. I gotta hurry up. Business teams are coming really fast, guys. And let's redeploy my archers up here to face the Byzantines. God protect us. Our general lies dead upon the battlefield. Without him, his men may lose heart and the battle. Oh, look at this one guy. This is a commander? No, it's not. So here come the Byzantines. Gonna have to recall my cab, guys. Hopefully the Byzantines will back off. Or the uh, Milan will back off while I fight the Byzantines. But I think I did a pretty good job taking out Milan's cab, so he might not be so compelled to, to fight right now. Yeah, Byzantines were going to flank me while I was engaged with Milan. And no, this is not a mod. 
This is a, uh, this is vanilla. Uh, take care, Ray. And this is free for all. But both players are going for me. And it's last man standing, so I'm not gonna win, regardless of how much, uh, people I kill. Because, uh, King Christopher joined at the last second, so now it's uh, this kind of game. Let's target the, his general's bodyguard. And let's send this guy forward. Take out these peasants really quick. And yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna keep engaging these peasants if they to get away. Like I can pull back. But I see no cav right now from Milan, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for these guys. Oh wait, there's some cav right there. Oh, he's gonna come forward. Guess I'm gonna go for these guys. Get these guys. This is basically a two v one, guys. This battle goes poorly for the right. We need to reverse our forces. Oh my gosh. What's this launch repeated charges on these guys? I gotta pull my crossbows back here. Let's gather what I can and get away from these dudes. Get within the branching guard. We must change tactics. Let's pull my guys out of here. Yeah, I, I was getting hit, hit from two sides here. Let's kill these guys before they get away. Run, guys! I'm having a hard time getting my guys to run. Oh shoot, these guys are way over here.
Let's let them fight it out for a bit. I already took on two players. What's up, ACN? One of my uh, YouTube friends. If you're just joining, I did this. Um, I'm doing this free for all right now. It's an odd number free for all, and both players were attacking me at the beginning. Look at these peasants coming forward here. Get at the charge these guys. I mean, he he hasn't coming after me, so let's take him out. These dismounted Latin cons are gonna get charred from behind here. My lord, only half our force remains. I know that. Sorry guys, I'm a little uh, tied up at this battle right now. But you guys enjoy the comment section for now. Let's get my crossbows over here. Great, my guys are routing. Hopefully they come back. I don't know if they will though. Let's get these crossbows on this ledge here so I can shoot these dudes. And... The enemy has lost half his army. We are being depleted. We must change tactics. Wait, let's get my cav here. Try to get a rear charge on these guys right here. These dismounted Latin cons, what do you guys think? And let's get my crossbows. Oh man, they broke at the worst time. Ah. Oh. All right, so here's what I got to do. I got to use my archers or my crossbows to try to blast his uh, important units apart. Advance.
It is too hard with two people coming at me. What, is he attacking me? I can't tell. Great, my guys are mass routing right now. Get my guys over here away. Where is my other unit at? Oh, they broke. Ugh. Uh, we did not team. Where's this unit at? I don't need to kill those guys. Alright, King Corbex is really starting to annoy me right now. Have you guys been following the conversation? It's really annoying.
is this guy talking about? I'm sorry, I have to call him out. He's freaking annoying, guys. Sorry guys, I'm just really annoyed by this guy. Yeah, I should have my guys in loose formation, but you know what? I didn't do it. And you're right, I should be focusing on the battle right now. Let's focus fire on this archer unit right here. We got some peasants coming up here. Let's charge down on these guys. This battle seems to be swinging towards the Empire. And attack those archers from behind. That can scare these guys away. Nope! <laughs> they held their ground. This battle progresses well for the Empire. Stay no, it doesn't. Let's chase that guy off the field. Oh, these guys came back. Nice. Yeah, I really should spread my guys out. My archers. My guys keep breaking. <clears throat> I'm just gonna ignore Carbex. He did not make this game fun at all. Yeah, dude. 
Corbex? You, you accused us of teaming up on you, which was not true. Everyone saw that I was fighting Milan when you attacked me from the side. And he started bashing me for whatever reason. You saw Milan on the hill. So you accuse me And then did you start bragging that I was calling myself a pro and I couldn't beat you? Let's get these guys in the mix. Dude, I don't care if you won tournaments, you were not impressive today. Claiming that we were teaming up on you. And then somehow taking that away from me that I couldn't beat your first attack because I was tied up with another person, dude. Seriously, man. You're just a braggart is what you are. No, dude, you, you've ruined it, man. Mm. All right, well, now I got to deal with this guy's remaining troops. Look, you guys can follow the conversation here. I was taking on Milan and this guy decided to march at me. And then he makes a claim that that we're teaming up on him. No, I was being teamed up on guys. <laughs> you can see it at the beginning. Yep, I never had problems with Elite. This is going to be a long game, but that's a march all the way out here. I don't think these guys are going to make it over there. Dude, you were the one talking crap, man. Chat, who was the one talking crap? I'm talking crap now, but because he started it. So <laughs> I know it sounds childish, but man, he was the one doing it. Where's that comment at? Here it is. Fact, you both teamed up is a, a douche move or whatever he said. And that's after I was being attacked from the side by him when I was attacking Milan at the same time. What is this? 
for such a so-called pro, you push, you got pushed back by me, dude. I was fighting someone else at the time. Do you guys see the chat? All right, let's march up here because. Fast forward. <laughs> Andre. Making fun of you, dude. I'm reporting what you did to me. <laughs> dude, you're so freaking childish, man. First, he complained about being double teamed when he was attacking me, and then he started saying that I claim I'm a pro at this game and that I couldn't beat him in the first attack that I made on him. The attack when I split up with Milan and him at the same time. And this is one of the problems with using my name online. People act like, like this. Like they don't act normally. Everyone just freaking ignore this guy. Dude, Corbex, every time you run your mouth, I'm gonna report it, and that's not talking trash on my stream. I'm reporting to what you're saying. Jeez. I thought that was pretty reasonable asking for a 6 speed here. Here we go, finally.
And then he put it back to one speed. God, this guy's a freaking child. Hey, my nights are fresh now. Good. And I'm not the best. I suck at this game, Medieval 2. But hopefully you guys realize that I'm... But I've been trying to focus on Medieval 2 so I can actually learn it. But I've had this game forever, but I've only played... I've played less than 300 battles in this game. I think this is the battle... 210 in this. But that's total. Out of, since I started playing in 2007, I've played less than 300 online battles. So I'm gonna let my guys rest over here. Since he's not moving, I might as well rest my guys. Oh, thanks, Pro Bro. Pro Bro. Looks like he terminated the game. So, do you see those kills? Does that look like I was being teamed up on there? I mean, I know Elite didn't. He didn't team up on me. It's just, it's just the way it happened. I was playing Elite, and then Corbex came to attack me from the flank. If you look at the at the numbers kills, you can see what I'm talking about. That's me taking on two opponents. And I'm not saying anything about Elite, because we did not team up. If anything, it was those two teaming up on me. But not Corbex's claim that we were teaming up on him. You can see, clearly from the numbers, they don't lie, that I was taking on two opponents at once. Ooh, Andre's on. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, wait, who's on? Hey, it's Nerlin. I think I've only talked to Nerlin via email. Hey, I'm gonna host this one. And it's only be for four players, unfortunately. Because any more than four players, it becomes a team battle for free-for-all, which I don't really want to do that. La Village. It's on the grassy. You guys want late period? What's up, Zap? 
Hey, Elite, you can totally join this game if you get in. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's fine. This is going to be an even number, so this should be fair. So I'm going to use the restroom real quick, guys. I'm going to change the, uh, the money value, though. I'm going to change the money, then I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Sorry. Corbex, can you please leave so that other people can join this game? Hey Corbex, I've asked you nicely. Can you leave so that other people can join the game? I'm still a little annoyed by the, your performance in the last battle. He was asking for it. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom, guys. I'll be back. Sorry guys, I'm back. We got room for one more person to join the game. <clears throat> nope, that's it. I thought I did ban artillery. Yeah. Uh oh. Hey, anybody else want to join the game, guys? Room for one more. I'm gonna go with La France. Apparently these guys can't see my game. Use a faction I I don't typically use. Uh maybe the next battle. So the people here are Americans only, or North Americans. Well, if that's the case, um, I'm gonna have to remake with Squad Resolution. Hey, looks like Nerland's gonna join.
Okay, here we go. 12,000 each. Uh, late period. What about elephants? <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we ban elephants? Alright. What do you think? Noble Knights? Are these Lancers any good? Like, I've always uh, avoided them. Because they don't have shields. I mean, I've used them. Can you fix my money, please? Oh, oops, I thought I did. Alright, so what's the opinion on Lancers in, for France? Any opinion on them, guys? Let's get four. Aventuriers or Scots Guards? Ugh, expensive, huh? I'm watching your stream, by the way. Oh, thanks, dude. They're not good, so I guess I'm not going to use them. Or we'll go with something like this, I guess. <laughs> it's all right. You guys can watch it. I, I don't mind. Oh wait, there's a, appear to be a mirror faction here. There are two Portugals. Maybe uh, one of y'all can pick uh, Spain. Maybe. I do like the views, guys. Thank you. So it says here France has OP Cav. Good for hit and run only. I guess for the Lancers. This guy says use cab only with shields. And uh, I do apologize if I can't see your messages because I'm trying to, you know, go back and forth. I mean, I could skip these, these dudes and just get more uh, heavy infantry. I know uh, pikemen are pretty popular. Screw it. We'll just go with this. Alright. Que pasa con España? Mi despacito un momento. What was going on with that kid that was bothering you? Well, I don't know if you can. Can you rewind on the live stream? I recommend you watch uh, the first battle from start to finish and you can see what the problem was. Oh, thanks, uh, Matthew. Yeah, I played uh, a guy from... Well, I played two guys from ARM recently. The last guy I played kicked the crap out of me. I think that was in a live stream, actually. Yeah, it was in a live stream. It was a free-for-all. Um, we were put next to each other. And I managed to take his numbers down. And that was pretty much it. Um, I, I did pretty well in the uh, 2v2 against uh, Arma though, or Arm. But the first guy, well, I forgot what the other guy's name was, but yeah, he beat the crap out of me. We Arm are very experienced medieval 2 players. Indeed, they are. I think Arm is one of the most popular medieval 2 clans. And I think there was another one which I kind of missed. Alright, so we also have, uh, so Nerland's going to command Denmark, Leo's going to command Portugal, and Andre's going to command Spain. So AC, or AC Dragon, Dragon says his favorite period is Isabel, the Catholics reign to the Thirty Years' War, Trastamara and Habsburgs, also Alfonso VI. So if I want tips or tricks, I can always ask them, or me, because they are happy to help players. That is true, they are very helpful, the Arm Clan. Oh, screw it. Okay, here we go. 
Be careful. Kingdoms of Castilla, Leon, Galicia, Aragon. Wait. I'm gonna pick a, a neutral deployment. I wonder why these guys didn't spread out. So let's deploy back here for now. And then we'll see who's taken on who. And I can turn and face whoever I need to. And let's see how much money everyone spent in this battle. I remember this was 12,000. So everyone did a pretty good, pretty good job spending their money. You may know that King Francis the first of France was kept prisoner in Madrid. I did not know that. Portugal and Spain are linked forever. Oh, did anyone watch that new movie with um, about Mary Queen of the Scots? I haven't seen it yet. I heard bad things about it, but I definitely want to see it. And I, I can already gather it had a lot of historical inaccuracies. But uh, it's a movie, so you know movies are also made to be entertaining. Yes, Philippines was also Spain. I've seen a lot of the uh, Spanish uh, ruins in Spain or in the Philippines when I went there last time. I was actually reading a great article about Japanese samurai taking on the Spanish in the Philippines. This is like back in the day. And I didn't really get to read the article too well. Um, but it seemed like a mix of like a few Japanese pirates with Chinese pirates taking on Spanish, uh, the Spanish Navy. All right. So we got Andre there and we got Nerland here. All right, whoever faces me first, I'm gonna take them on. Every story about samurai are cool. Yes, indeed. All right. I think I'm taking on Nerland here. I think Nerland's going to back up. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Well, no, it looks like Leo is getting closer to uh, Nerland. Is he? I, let's see. Yep. I'll take on Spain first, then. Let's see if I can survive Spain's wrath. Spain, uh, late period, fantastic. Filipinos were Spanish for longer than the Catalonians have been. <laughs> All right. I'll march on Spain. So this one's actually my, my YouTube friend. Well, I mean, I guess they're all my YouTube friends. But for some reason, Andre's name sticks out a lot. I'm not sure why. I think Andre's been on my channel, like, forever. By the way, if my, uh, if my stream crashes, then I'll probably just gonna call it a day. But after this, I plan to play maybe one more battle after this, and then I want to chat a little bit with my viewers. Do I want to be in prison in Madrid? I mean, maybe. If I can get, like, churros and, with chocolate, perhaps. I don't... I've actually never been to Spain, so I would like to be in Spain. Maybe not in prison, but I wouldn't mind being in Spain for a bit, just to check it out.
And yet, if you, as you guys know, uh, Nerlin is a uh, Rome Total War player. So, I didn't know he played Medieval 2 as well. So that's pretty cool. So, Nerlin went with the, uh, the Danes here. And can you guys surmise that that's a good looking army? He just has some crossbows. Let's look at the uh, French, or the, sorry, the Portuguese army of Leo. He's got the crossbows in the front. What are these guys? I know what those are. They're carrying that one sharp stick here. Uh, I know it has a name, but I, I don't. I don't want to do that. There you go, the Danish halberds. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Leo. It's like I get my answers like immediately. Hey, Leo, if I ask you a question, you don't have to answer because I know you're about to play a battle, so. Yeah, don't feel compelled to answer questions while you're fighting, so. Typing and battling is even harder than chatting and battling. Or, you know, talking and battling. So let's spread out my crossbows a bit, bit more than this. Here's something I don't understand about Medieval 2. I mean, you know. So when you hold the spacebar in Rome 1, it's a lot easier to see where your troops are going to. But in Medieval 2, your spacebar, it's kind of hard to see. See it? It's like a really high yellow color. And it disappears, like, immediately. Especially on desert- <laughs> yeah, that's right, especially on desert maps. Alright, Nerlin is moving forward here against, uh, Leo. He's got to get these crossbows really close. Speaking of which, I don't want to get too much separation between my crossbows and my cav. So let's get my cav a little bit closer here before he decides to charge him. But yeah, are you guys cool with that? I'll play one more battle after this and then I'm going to chat with you guys for a bit. You guys cool with that? Oh, he's got peasants in the front. I'm wasting my ammunition on him. Yeah, so don't target the peasants. That's a waste. So what else does he have here? He has Gendarme, Dismounted Conquistadors. The Dismounted Conquistadors are freaking sweet. They're kind of like urban cohorts of Rome 1. Alright, I'm trying to keep an eye on the other battle. I want to make sure they don't close each other out. Can my peasants claim any of these horses? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> How sad. What does he have? Tercio Pikes. I might come forward here. Cause you know, I got this infantry edge, I think. I I'm gonna push forward here.
Only half the enemy force remains. All right, let's uh, get my infantry up here. Sorry for not talking right now, guys, but I'm a little focused on this fight. Many apologies, guys. Yikes, that incinerated my men. Only intervention by Almighty God or a military genius can bring us victory from this depart. Alright, this battle is not going so well. I doubt it. Let's get my cab out of here. Get in there, guys. Only intervention by Almighty God or a military genius can bring us victory from this depart. I'm not going to win this fight. <laughs> oh, that cat's going to kill me when it comes in. This cat charge is going to obliterate my dudes over here. I can't do anything about it. What's this focus fire on those guys? General shaves us all. Oh. He flees battle while his soldiers still fight. Infamy will be his way. Yeah, I'm trying, Leo. Ugh. Oh, not my peasants. <laughs> Yikes. What's this counter charge? My guys will die, but whatever.
that hurt. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. God, this advisor has no idea what he's talking about. Pray something changes in the course of battle. For defeat seems almost I'm gonna actually pray. No, I'm so dead right now. Freaking Spain. Our army is running from the field. We must rally our men before all is lost. So let's go look what uh, kind of army this guy has left. Leo, after his first battle. He's still got some pretty good cav. How fitting though, it ends up being Spain, Portugal. What is it? Look at this. Hold on. Do you see that glitch right here? Right there where my cursor is? You see that? That's odd looking. <clears throat> Indeed, Leo. It is meant to be. So, Andre's gonna collect his army. And let's look at his cav. You know, he actually has all of his cav units still. I mean, they're a bit depleted, but he still has all of his cav. Wait, all except for one, I think? No, there, there it is. But yeah, they're uh, very depleted. And his missile force looks pretty good still. And what you're hearing right now, this is one of the best uh, music tracks of Medieval 2. I feel like after uh, after Medieval 2, the the soundtracks went downhill for the Total War series. Even in Napoleon, a game that I loved, I felt like the music was pretty uh, unfor pretty forgettable. What is everyone talking about right now? Talking history, good. That's what I want to see. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing a uh, another free for all to end to end the night, and then I'm going to chat with my viewers, whoever wants to stay and chat for like a few minutes. Did that sound like a plan, guys? Been watching the Asian Cup. I guess not. I didn't know about the Asian Cup. <laughs> well, let me edit my video while I'm here. See if I can turn on my, uh, what do you call it? Monetization? I don't see an option to monetize this video. I, have to, I guess it's after I make it, I guess. So what do you guys think about this uh, battle here? Like, it looks like they both have a healthy uh, amount of uh, crossbows still. Trying to decide on the, the infantry force, though. And I'm still trying to decide on the cav, because... Yeah, I couldn't even kill any of Andre's cav units. But he still has six squadrons. This one's, like, untouched right here. I didn't do so good against him. All right, let's go back to the uh, stream here. Oh, this. Now, you guys okay with uh, another free for all battle after this? He actually likes the Attila music. I can't even remember what the Attila music was like, <laughs> to be honest. 
It's alright, I played some Rome battles against you in the past and you squashed me. I did? What was your name back then? Oh, again, yeah, if you're playing your battle, don't worry about responding to me because. Long and I'll be coming tired. What's up, Marcus? Marcus? Same name. Interesting. Alright, so, uh, sorry. Andre sent this cabinet forward here. That was never going to work against crossbows of this magnitude, of that quality. But it was a good idea, though, to maybe uh, bypass this uh, skirmish a little bit, maybe? Anyways, uh, yeah, hey, Marcos, yeah, I'm about to end this stream. Like, after this, I'm going to play one more free-for-all. And then I'm going to chat with the viewers for a few minutes, if anybody wants to stay in chat. So uh, what to you would be a good time to uh, stream? Because right now I'm not, I don't have a set time or day for streaming. I kind of just do it when I'm free. So you guys leave your comments. Don't want to do a team battle. I'm not really into team battles. I'm sorry, man. I love free for alls though. If that's cool. All right, what do we got here? We got some uh, aggressive forward motion from Leo. It looks like he's gonna commit to the charge. Let's see what happens. Sometimes they pull back at the last second. Now, uh, Leo is losing some horses from the crossbows, it looks like. And now, Andre is gonna counter charge here. They have lost half their men. So I think this is gonna be it. They're both gonna commit to the fight. I don't think I even touched these, Curcio pikemen. I surrounded them earlier. I tried to surround them. Couldn't break them though. Alright, Leo's gonna pull back some of his cav. And now he's gonna let the Portuguese uh, foot soldiers go in. Oh, they're about to get smacked by this uh, general unit. Is that, that a general unit? I can't tell. It looks like a general unit. But they've got some uh, gendarme right here. What's up, C4? Welcome to the stream. I think I would have been okay with the Tercio if I had if I had flanked it better. I had all that infantry, but I couldn't get in because his, his cab was effectively toward me. Uh oh, I can't see any flags anymore. I guess because all my units left the field. So I guess this is a more realistic look at, at a battle. It's like you couldn't really see what was happening unless your troops were carrying banners. But these guys are not carrying banners, so it's a bit harder to see. Yeah, Medieval 2 freaking awesome. Medieval 2 was like, was like the, the last great game from uh, CA. Well, I think this... And then uh, Napoleon. I also like Napoleon a lot too. Alright, there's a big cluster of mess in the middle here. <laughs> conquistador on Conquistador action. It's so poetic. Yeah, Conquistador is very tough nut to crack for, uh, for foot soldiers. I think this has been pretty. Pr Ugh, I think this has been a pretty epic uh, free for all. Like the first one was pretty good. It, it kind of got ruined, but um, it was it was a pretty good battle, objectively speaking. And then this one's pretty pretty great too. Do, do, do. Uh, 
Yeah, Empire incorporated that new uh, engine. My problem with Empire, it took a whole year to, to fix Empire's uh, kinks. So when it when it did become a stable game, it had left such a bad taste in my mouth. But I mean, now I, I can look back at it and say it's a great game. But Napoleon came off the shelves uh, pretty solid. And plus the time period of Napoleonic, Napoleonic Wars cemented it for me. But after Napoleon, there were no more uh, great games from, from the CA. They just went downhill real bad. God, I can't even see who's winning here. So, I think these are all Portuguese crossbows on this side. Yeah, those are Portuguese crossbows. And we got some Spanish units out here. But they're being charged by, uh, by Leo's uh, cav. They are taking cover, though. Oh, he's about to get countercharged by Andre's uh, Cav too. So, you. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now look at that narrator taking claim for all the kills. Yeah, the American Civil War would be awesome. But can you imagine like pitting like the uh, the Confederate States against like the Prussians at the same time period? That'd be so epic. Like, it wouldn't make sense historically, but it'd be an epic fight, I think. Yeah, there are Civil War mods, but you guys know me, I like official releases of these games. It's just a, it's a, it's a habit with mine that I just prefer not mods. <laughs> I don't even know who won this. Looks like Leo still has some cap over here, but I can't see the overall picture anymore because uh, my troops have left the field. I guess we'll find out soon. Portugal has a lot of crossbows out here, so it looks like they might have the edge, but, but then again, I might be missing some Spanish troops here. Napoleon's buggy? You think so? I, I guess I didn't play it that much to see all the bugs in it, but I thought it came out pretty solid off the shelves. Alright, here comes a glory charge from Andre. So it looks like, um, it looks like our Leo is going to take this fight. That's without seeing any banners, so that's what it looks like. So anyways, I want to do one more free-for-all and then do some uh, chat. And I'm not doing any Rome 1 today. Like, I, I want to use the stream so I can get motivated to get really good at Medieval 2. That one horseman killed many puppies. <laughs> Indeed. He hasn't seen him at all. Uh, sorry guys. Oh, so we got this. We got something over here. Oh, this guy. This must be the guy they're talking about. Must be some hit points on him. Not sure why it's lagging right now. Been kind of burnt out with Rome Total War lately. Hey, what's up, Baron? You know what? I, I reach those times too where I get burned out on a game and then I'll just I'll come back in a, maybe a few weeks, few months, and play it again, and it's a fresh new game. So laggy. Yeah, I'm not sure why it became so laggy all of a sudden. It seemed like it was working fine earlier. <laughs> well, I think he's dead now, that lone uh, conquistador. Our cowardly foe runs. We must push our advantage. So I'm going to do one more free-for-all, and then chat time, guys! Have you ever been in a clan? Oh man, look how horrible I did. Well, I didn't do horrible. I, 
It's just Andre played so well. All right, let's get one more game going here. I love seeing this delay on my stream. When I do something, it comes out like two minutes later, or like, like ten seconds later. All right, I'm gonna do one more free for all. It's gonna be the same rules. Let's put a timer of 60 on it. I don't think it's going to take that long. Alright guys. Stick with the money. Was it 12,000 last time? Let's stick with 12,000. Oh yeah, everyone's coming back in. fix all the, everyone's money here real quick. Oh shoot, Andre. Sorry, Tintin. All right, Andre, get in fast. There we go. Oh shoot, he picked the HRE. Hmm. I, I think I'll stick with this guy, with these guys. No, he's switched, so I'll pick the HRE. There we go. Oh shoot. <laughs> I keep doing that to Leo, sorry dude. I could have sworn I switched it. I fixed it, right? Why isn't it stained? You guys saw me fix it and now it's not stained. Alright. <laughs> Is this a bug? Let's see if it's one back. No, it's good now. Alright. Hell, I'm a D&D &D player. Would love one based on the Dragonlance campaign. Alright. So let's get my, uh, my army sorted here. Ooh, I got this new uh, list of uh, swordsmen or infantry guys I can use. So people tell me not to use a Swyhander because there's a bug with these two-handed units, so I'm not going to use them. Or am I? Get a few more. Got it, Leo. Not waste my money on the Svihandas. I guess we'll go with something like that. Oh, there is a repeat faction here. Oh shoot, did I do that? I thought he was a... Uh, a different faction. Well, well, I'll switch to France then. There you go. Problem solved. Alright. Guess I'm back to using La France. I could have sworn he had Poland, so that's why I went to the HRE. And yeah, I know that costs more money to get the same unit. I do know. Hmm. 
Hearts, Hearts 4. Alright, so we're gonna go with these guys. So, who is everyone using? Nerlin is gonna use HRE. Leo's gonna use Venice. And Andre's gonna stick with the Spanish. Trying to keep trying to keep the pride of my clan. Hehe. <laughs> yeah, Arm Clan is a, a really uh, respectable clan. Like whenever they host battles, they they play against pretty much anyone. They don't really discriminate, and they're very helpful. Oh, maybe next time. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, I, was that you? Zen Quicks, were you Tintin? If so, I'm really sorry. Um, oh, yeah, 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 sorry, guys. So, Max 6 Cav, no artillery, and no guns. So this is now a, a late period battle, I think. Matthew wonders if someone's doing with something with Romance and Three Kingdoms. And that was something that I was arguing for for the longest time, and then the CA finally uh, made it. And they just didn't really, they didn't want to be involved in any bit of it. <laughs> just like how I was pushing for free for all to come back. And when they finally did bring it back, I wasn't invited to the events anymore. All right, so, all right, Leo Venice, Aunt Andre Spain, Nerland HRE, and me, France. <laughs> Ellie spam time. That'd be funny if someone wrote elephants. Free for all score, best game mode. Yeah, free for all score is great in run one, but in medieval two it is not great. I've shown many times why medieval two score does not work. It's a broken uh, scoring system in medieval two because once you route a unit, they don't count as points anymore. Unlike in run one, if you route a unit early, you, you still get credit for it. So anyways, this will be the last uh, game for the night. And yes, there are elephants in Medieval 2. Uh, people ban them as well in multiplayer. But who has elephants? I knew the, uh, the Timurids have elephants. Who else has elephants? Timurids. Uh, I can't really think of any right, sorry, right now. Thanks for complimenting the Arm Clan anytime. Arm Clan is awesome, at Medieval 2. Like every time I've logged into Medieval 2, like throughout the years, I've always seen an Arm member in there in the in the lobby. So a very active clan too. Active, respectable, um, experienced. All right, let's see how much money everyone spent. So everyone did a pretty good job spending money. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna deploy back a little bit, and then we'll see. And then it'll be sorted out who who takes on who. So yeah, it looks like only, people are saying only the Timurids, but I don't know. That's something I haven't really actually looked at in this game. I think my very first uh, multiplayer game, no, 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 that was, that was for Napoleon, sorry. 
But at some point, yeah, I, I took on some guy using elephants in his battle. <laughs> I, he was using the Timurids. I think I was using the Mongols. Stratoids. Alright, so Leo is saying not to hate on his Stratiots, or whatever we call them. Wait, who did he pick again? Was it Milan or Sicily? Or there's some Italian faction that he picked. Does anybody hate on the Stratiots? Okay, someone says Egypt might have him too. And it looks like the Moors and maybe Egypt have him. They are OP like have. What's OP about them? Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember that. I think I remember that battle in, in Empire. What was it? Empire or was it uh, Napoleon? Stop the Stratiot hate. Armor piercing, good morale, very fast and low cost. So they sound kind of like the head hunting maidens of Scythia. It, is that a, is that a fair a fair thing? A fair assessment? of Stratiots. I mean, I welcome it because I can see their capabilities. Kinda, yeah, only better. I don't know, headhunting babies are pretty darn good. And they're super cheap, like cost-wise. And they're cheap. Yeah, they're just cheap. Fast move spear is an AP secondary weapon. A five charge bonus, very OP. Well, let's let's see them in action. Let's see how let's see how how OP they are. If I like them, I'll start using them in my battles too, huh? <laughs> All right. Oh shit! Well, I mean, shoot. Sorry, I got the HRE right on me here. How'd that happen? I also got Spain right here, that's Andre. But I don't think I'm taking on Andre. Am I? So let's see what these Stratiots look like. I, I know I've seen them. These guys? Are they the Stratiots with the funny hats? Or is it another unit here? I don't know. Here's the HRE, HRE army of Nerlin. Oh, wait a minute. Andre's moving against me. So is Nerlin. Let's, uh, let's scoot back a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit so I can see who's actually gonna fight me. So let's deploy right here. I don't know, it looks like they're... It kind of looks like they're both marching on me right now. You can turn up the volume. Can you guys not hear me? Did I not? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I hope someone fights uh, the Stratiot, the Stratiots, because.
Let's uh, reshift my line here. So I think uh, Andre is going to take on Leo here, and I'm going to stop moving my army back. So what kind of cab are we looking at? Are these going to be the Teutonic Order? Imperial Knights? There's got to be some Teutonic Order here, I think. I don't see any. Will do, Leo. Thank you for the uh, offer. I can provoke a calf fight here with uh I'm gonna try to charge these uh peasant crossbows. Oh yeah, I remember Seamith. I played Seamith in Rome as well as Medieval 2. Alright, that's gonna cause a response here from Nerlin. Oh, thanks, Leo. Oh, great! My guys are breaking! General lies slain upon the battlefield. Thank goodness that my general's done. Yikes! My guys are breaking hardcore.
trenches in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. This fires a big clot of uh, horses over here. Fire, guys! I got my guys fired with those uh, Teutonic Knights. Can't break them, though. Oh, that charge is gonna hurt! I didn't see them coming! General lies dead. We have sent the girl to hell. Only half the enemy force remains. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Attack! Oh, ho, ho, ho. that broke all my my crossbows. Ouch! That hurt. I thought they were gonna hold out. Infantry. It takes him down before I go down. I can rear charge these guys over here. Let's see if that breaks them. Oh, here he comes. Oh man, he's killing my uh, my net unit with his crossbows.
Take some of them down. Come on. This is my last stand here. Oh. Oh, look at this. These guys came back from routing. Let's put them in combat. Let's go see how this battle's going. Looks like they've been skirmishing here. And then uh, once my guys are dead here, I can uh, focus on that other battle. When the D-Day happened, uh, the German defenses was divided in the entire coast between France and England. <laughs> our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Thanks, Picada. So yeah, this will be the last stream of the night, and then I'm probably just gonna talk for a few minutes. Alright, there you go, my guys. That is the end of France. So, uh, Nerland has some pretty good cab left in his army. It depends what happens with these guys, though. So let's see if we can surmise what happened. I see a lot of dead units. Who did they belong to? Mm, it's hard to tell from here. I see some uh, dead English units right here. Not English, uh, Spanish. <laughs> Sorry. I also see some uh, dead uh, Venetians. That's who he was, he picked Venice. I knew it was some kind of Italian faction. Anyways, do any of my viewers here keep up with my other channel? Uh, because, uh, hopefully by the end of the weekend I'm gonna have a, uh, a Dukes of Hazard RC video up. You should make more streams, man. I definitely want to, it's just I have to do it when I, I have a lot of free time in the day. So today I had a lot of free time, and last... I forgot what date was last week, I had some free time. So I, I wish I could plan these out. But it just seems like when I get on, I go, oh, look at that, I have three hours to kill. And then I'll just uh, do a live stream for you guys. Can you put bookshelf and game shelf in the background? Actually, a lot of my books are kind of in storage right now. So I don't have access to all my books, but I got a lot of books though. I've got like, oh man, I forgot what it was. It's like 50 books on Alexander the Great, and then the remaining, not the remaining, but I've got like another 100 books on ancient times in general. 
I've got like 20 or 30 books on World War II. Got a few books on the Napoleonic Wars. I forgot. Um, I, I think I'll look at them again. But yeah, they're kind of in storage right now, so I can't uh, display them at the moment. Hey, what's up, Mr. Mint? Welcome to the stream. This is the last game of the day. Unfortunately, I went out to the first guy. Uh, Nerland took me out. So we're, we're going to watch this uh, epic battle unfold. So we still have uh, Leo and Andre commanding uh, Venice and uh, and Spain, respectively. And then also have Nerland's army. He was using the HRE. And he was my opponent, but he, he took me out. So he's kind of depleted. But if the other two uh, players uh, deplete themselves, then Nerland's going to could have a good chance of winning this. Am I going to play Three Kingdoms? It's hard to say because the CA really uh, screwed me over. It's like they stopped sending me games for like over a year. And when I asked about it, they act like, like they hadn't done anything to me. And so when I asked them, they acted like I was harassing them. It's like, guys, you haven't sent me any games. And they stopped sending me to all the events for no particular reason. And they just started giving me the runaround. So it's hard to play a game with a company that owns it, like, really screwed me over. Like, I've been campaigning for an Asian Total War, like, since, I don't know, early 2000s. Or not early 2000s, but, like, late 2000s. You know, like... I don't know, for, forever, I've been hoping for like an Asian game. They finally brought one out, they didn't want me touching it, like early access. And then like with Free For All, I've been campaigning for Free For All forever. And then when it finally came out, they didn't want me to go to the event to check it out. And yeah, they, they just stopped sending me uh, uh, games for, well now it's been almost two years now. No, it's definitely the CA. Sega has nothing to do with this. Sega just funds them. CA is the one in charge of Total War. Yeah, problem with Shogun 2, it was only set in Japan and that was it. And when they finally made an expansion or that, you know, the next phase of Shogun 2, it included Europeans. I wanted a game set in Asia and only, only Asian factions. But I feel like Europeans have already had tons of representation in previous Total War games. So why not give Asia more of a more of a setting. Even Shogun 1 had more Asian representation than Shogun 2. But yeah, CA screwed me over and I don't really want any part in their in their games now. Because they play they play like they're innocent. Oh, but they're not. They they know what they're doing. And like I remember when they would always promote people with like 200 subscribers and when I had the most subscribers for over I had the most subscribers for Total War on YouTube for about seven years. I got nothing from them. No promotions. Like, they invited me to the events, but they never let me stream on their channels. Uh, they never let me see their studios. I don't know, it's kind of a joke. And then when I started having trouble, when I needed their support, they just completely turned their backs on me. So, I had their backs forever. And then when I see that they did not have my back for whatever reason, then I just really lost a lot of respect for the CA. So yeah, do you think I'm going to play the new Total War games? What do you think? Why would I give them any more of my money? Those guys screwed me hardcore. Anyways, sorry about that. I got a little sidetracked, and now... Oh, I, didn't, I didn't get to follow the start of this battle. Yeah, screw the CA guys. Screw them. And I can pretty much pinpoint it down to like two or three people who did it. Anyways, uh, any specific books to recommend on Ancient Warfare? Uh, man, there was one book. It was by John Wary. It's very general, but you said you wanted a general book on Ancient Warfare. I think it's, yeah, John Wary's Illustrated Edition of Ancient Warfare. Check that one out. Make sure you get the Illustrated Edition. That's a nice little overview of antiquity. But when you want to get 
into the uh, specifics, like if you want to follow the leaders, check out Arian's Campaigns of Alexander. That's probably my favorite book of all time. And it's the uh, it's the source that historians rely upon the most when uh, talking about Alexander the Great's battles. That that book, on the other hand, was written like 200, 300 years after Alexander. So even that book isn't very. It's not really a, a true primary source, but it's the oldest book we have that that's faithful to his military battles. Hey, good night, Nathan. Yeah, Caesar's um, commentaries on the Gallic Wars, fantastic. Unfortunately, Caesar's commentaries on the Civil War isn't as good because uh, towards the end, it's not even Caesar writing the book anymore. But I'd still recommend the Civil War commentaries, but definitely recommend the, the Gallic Wars by Caesar. Hello, Carl. Kars von Scheich. Which is better, Rome 2 or Attila? Uh, they both suck. Although I did, I did like the the team, you know, the community team that was around during Rome 2 and Attila. Like the, the community was awesome, but the gameplay, the game still sucked though. <laughs> What's up, Special Force? What's up, everyone? Sorry if I haven't been talking. This guy has to translate Caesar at school. Ooh. Lucky person. I feel like uh, Attila was just a reskin of Rome too. Had really uh, arcade gameplay. And none of the factions seemed that unique. A lot of the units overlapped each other. I don't know. I just... I feel like Medieval 2 and Rome 1 was the heyday of having unique factions, like truly unique factions. And then, yeah, when you get into like Warhammer 1, Warhammer 2, oh gosh. I like the story of Warhammer, War Warhammer 2, but that has nothing to do with the CA. That is all because of uh, Games Workshop. The gameplay is, it's just Rome 2, Attila. And yeah, they added heroes to it, but it's it's just not, in my opinion, I don't really like those games that much. A lot of that is because of the way, again, the way the CA treated me. So I, I kind of lost interest in their in the games that the new team is making. Hey, what's up, Shay? And again, this is the last battle for the night, and I. <laughs> I already lost to the first first guy here, and then I'm going to chat with you guys for a few minutes before I uh, log out. But I, I want to thank you guys for uh, logging in from the stream, or logging in to watch the stream. I, I really do appreciate it. And Cars asked where I'm from, where, where everyone's from. I'm from Florida. I live in Orlando. Not too far from Disney World. Ever uh, consider uh, Grand Strat yeah, Games from Paradox? Yes, actually... Run down those um, I played Europa Universalis Roma back in the day. You can see my video, it's very old. Um, I might try the new um, Imperator game from Paradox. Maybe. I don't even know who won, but I'm gonna say good game anyways. Oh wait, you know what? This is only those two. Uh, Nerland still has to send his army in, I think. Yeah, Nerland's still here, so he has to play the winner of... Andre Leo here, which it looks to be like Leo came out on top. I'm really sorry um, I didn't get to comment on their battle because I was focusing on the chat. Again, it's hard when you're streaming. It's hard to focus on either the game or the chat. I was trying to do both and doing so I failed. And yeah, there'll be more streams. Why don't I play 12-12 Medieval Kingdoms? I don't know. Is that a mod for the new Total War games? Do I pretend to make some videos on the Imperator? What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> hey, what's up, Nerlin? Oh, hey, no problem. So, Nerlin's game crashed. Hey, Nerlin, I'm gonna kick you, um, just so that the, the, uh... Oh, wait, you're the last person, right? You and the other guy? 
Alright, I'll tell them. Well, I think they already know. Uh, Leo, uh, Nerland's game crashed, so... This game's pretty much over, so we'll just declare... Uh, Andre the winner, or Leo the winner. But Nerland still had an army left. Let's see if, I, if we can see it. Alright, there are still troops... Oh yeah, so... Let's fast forward this, guys. Six times speed. Although, I think Nerland, because Nerland's game is gone, we can't fast forward because everyone has to agree to it. Venice bribe the Germans. Yeah, so, uh... Press F for Merlin. Nerland. <laughs> How do I do that? Well, his army is coming. I want to see the replay. So, if you don't mind, can, can you just like charge his troops so we can get an end to this? Or oh, here, I'll, I'll just end it if you're gonna quit. I'll I'll, I'll I'll just end it. Oh, I can still save it. I just don't get the uh, the accurate stats at the end of the replay. So yeah, no problem, Nerlin. Want to do this again sometime? I don't really play campaign, uh, Mark. All right. So I want to thank everyone who came out to the stream, and I'll I'll stay in chat for a few minutes. Leo says his name is Leonard Maskant in YouTube. Alright. Okay, uh... So let me get this uh, laptop up here so I can see the chat better. So did you guys like the stream? So I couldn't really talk to you guys that much while I was playing. Um, but I, I do want to do more if you guys are interested. Yeah, good games, uh, Leo. Wait, this is live? Yes, this is live, Jade. <laughs> What's up, Jade? Hey, thanks, House Spartini Gaming. Thanks for coming out to the uh, stream. Heck yeah, my friend. was really enjoyable. Thank you, Mike. Michael. Jade Monrique, there you go. And thank you, Dad. I will try to do more streams. Does the bell button notify us when you go live? I don't actually know. How did you guys get notified to the stream? Did you guys get notified, or did you just happen to log on at the same time I was streaming? Oh, thanks, Jade. He's got a Mac he can't play. So how is everyone? Everyone's good. Hey, no problem, Fristy. There'll be more streams in the future. I'm trying to use streams so I can, uh, you know, better myself at Medieval 2. And I can also connect with my viewers more because I don't really get the chance to talk to you guys that much as I used to. I used to, like, stay on for, like, two or three hours just responding to comments. Oh, sweet, Wallaby. Hey, that's, like, from uh, Finding Finding Nemo. What is it? Uh, Wallaby Road. That's where uh, Nemo's at or something. What got me into ancient history? Um, honestly, school first got me into ancient history. Like, uh, when we're talking about the Peloponnesian War between the Spartans and Athenians, I was like so into it. But I wanted to know more, and that's when I started reading about this guy named Alexander the Great. And I just wanted to read more about him. And school wasn't. School only covered him for like a few paragraphs, so I wanted to learn more about Alexander the Great. So I got um, Plutarch's Life of Alexander. I also got Arian's Campaigns of Alexander. I read those books. And ever since, I've been hooked on Alexander the Great. And my love of uh, Alexander spread to the other military aspects of antiquity. So the Romans, the uh, Diodaci, 
what historical books do I recommend? Well, uh, I said earlier, uh, Caesar's commentaries on the Gallic Wars, and then Arian's Campaigns of Alexander. Just so many other books. I don't have access to them right now, but there's so many books I wonder I could recommend to you guys. I just can't remember what they are. That's the top of my head. It's been 10 years since I started watching. Feels weird. Oh, thanks, Christy. What's up, Car... Or Justin, what's up? So Cars went to Pella last autumn. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I am planning a trip eventually to go to Greece. I definitely want to go to northern Greece and uh, see the, uh, the the burials of, uh, of King Philip, Alexander the Great's papa. Hey, what's up, Colby? Hey, uh, just letting you know, this I'm not streaming. I mean, I'm just going to chat with you guys for a few more minutes and I'm going to end the stream, but there'll be more streams in the future. So, sorry if you missed this stream, but at least you caught the tail end of it. Have you ever been to Waterloo? I have not. Um, I've been to Europe only three times. I went to England twice, Wales once, uh, Germany, Italy. Do you think Alexander and his mother killed uh, Philip? That's hard to say. I mean... This, from, from what we read in the history is, like, so many people wanted Philip dead. But certainly, uh, it did it did benefit some others when Philip died, because then it put Alexander right there. And then his uh, men uh, voted for him, the army. So it's hard to say. I feel like if I went back in time, I would, I'd be blown away by what history was really like back in the day. All we know from history is what's written, and what's written is probably not very accurate, but it's all we have. But I have never been to Waterloo. I'd love to go sometime. My favorite, one of my favorite movies of all time was Waterloo, which starred uh, Rod Steiger as uh, Napoleon. Gosh, that movie was, it was almost perfect. I loved it. Andrew says Alexander was in Greek. He was a Slav. Well, that's uh, that's just a big opinion. Some people believe he was Slavic. Others believe he was Greek. But in the histories, Alexander definitely uh, uh, identified with being a Greek. He spoke the uh, language. Uh, he worshipped the uh, Greek gods. He was born almost at the foot of Mount Olympus. Have I been to Europe? Yes, I've been to uh, Italy, Germany, England, and Wales. I would love to go back sometime. But yeah, right now on top of my list for uh, travel would be uh, the Faroe Islands and Iceland. Maybe in one trip, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Greece. And yeah, when I went to Italy, that was for a, uh, a Total War. That was for the unveiling of Total War Rome 2. And we got to uh, hang out on the set of HBO's Rome. So... If you never seen my video, I made a video for that trip, and it was kind of bad because I used a a, a really bad uh, camcorder for it. It's really bad quality, but you can see what my trip was like when I went to uh, Italy. What were those secret messages in your video with a toxic player? It wasn't secret. It was actually. Could you guys not read the messages? Because the chat was right there. If you um, full screen the uh, thing. But basically, he was uh, it was a three-player free-for-all, and it was last man standing. So I went to fight uh, Milan. I think it was Milan. And then the other guy decided to attack me from the flank. And then so I, I pulled my troops back from Milan so I could focus my attention on, on the Byzantine player now attacking me. And then the, Byzant the Byzantine player started complaining that we were double-teaming him. When I was the one, if anybody was being double teamed, it was me because I was being attacked. Well, I was already engaged with Milan, and then Byzantines were attacking me from the flank. So he started complaining about that. And I told him to stop. It was really annoying. And then he and then he, he claimed that that I claimed I was great at medieval two, and that I, I couldn't even beat him with my first attack. When in reality, I say it all the time. I suck at medieval two. I'm still learning it. And secondly, I was. Playing two people, I was taking on two armies at once. 
when I when I sent some of my troops to a fight uh, the Byzantines, and he was just complaining the entire time about it and making accusations. It was really annoying. So that was the conversation with him. But what you guys should do, you should uh, go back to the first battle in this live stream and uh, and full screen it so you can see the chat on the top left. It was not a secret chat. It was all right there for you guys to see. Uh, you're right, Leo. I shouldn't give him attention, but I have a hard time ignoring people. I, I try to. Like, especially when they're in the game already and they're saying really ignorant comments, it's hard to ignore it. Oh, thanks, uh, Just Me Danny. He's been watching my videos on and off. And yeah, uh, Medieval 2 and Rome 1, they still hold up after all these years. I, I consider Medieval 2 and Rome 1 to be like chess. Like, no matter how much time passes, they'll always be great games. Wait, I was talking about an old video. Oh, I'm not sure what that video was about. I'm sure if you go to the video, I explain somewhere what the problem was. Medieval 2 is the best Total War... I like Rome 1 more, but I'm definitely... I'm definitely into this game. When I first got Medieval 2, I hated it. Because I wasn't really crazy about the time period. But after seeing the new Total War games come come out, I appreciate just how how good Medieval 2 actually was. So I'm going back to play it now. Yes, I understand it's annoying. I had it in a 1v1 elimination tournament, and that guy claimed I was cheating when I just beat him. Yep. He used to watch all my videos. Oh, thanks, Philip. Welcome to my welcome to the chat. And me too, Ingleberry. I also hate rude people. What do you think of Three Kingdoms? Why well, I, I said this earlier. Uh, the CA really did screw me over. It's like it's kind of weird how they promote people. Like they promote people that they like, and the reason why they're promoting me is because I was the biggest channel for about five or six years, so they they couldn't ignore me. But the second my views went down, that's where they basically discarded me, and they stopped responding to my emails. They stopped sending me games. Stop sending me to their events. And when I asked about it, they, they act like like they never did anything wrong to me. But for a whole year, they were not sending me anything or communicating with me. So yeah, I freaking uh, can't stand uh, anything that the new CA team does. And the fact is, they're not listening to what the veteran players are saying about the new Total War games. They're too arcadey. And honestly, people do not play these games zoomed in. And the new Total War games only look good when you zoom in. Unlike with Medieval 2 and Rome 1, they look great zoomed in or zoomed out. Ooh, take care, cars. Sorry, uh, you couldn't stay. I'll be leaving soon, too. What's up, almighty? And uh, whoever started up their own channel, good luck to you. I think that was... Oh, man, I don't know who that was. Oh, Call of Duty. Thanks, dude. The new games failed at campaigns. I guess I never played the new campaign games. I feel like the feel I like the feel of Warhammer, but that's fantasy. Yeah, sorry Almighty. I'm actually ending the stream pretty soon. Like I played three uh, free for all battles. Um and then now I'm just kinda chatting right now with you guys. And uh yeah, I've got stuff to do. I have to prepare so I'm making a video tomorrow with my uh, RC cards. So I gotta get my equipment ready, get all my RC cars charged, and get batteries for them. So I have to get prepared for that. And I'm going out tonight with my girlfriend. So I have to do it uh, before she gets back to work, or gets back from work. Because once she gets back, we're gonna head out. And yeah, the new games are arcadey. How do I change my account name a lot? I just go to Steam and change the name. <laughs> It's under, uh, forgot, it's, they changed their format, but if you, you go to your Steam, and then you, I think you click on your name, you can change it, something like that. I ran the channel 2009-2017, I think I asked about how to record gameplay, and you suggested fraps. Oh, sweet. Hey, nowadays, people don't use fraps anymore, because fraps takes up so much space, but me, because I'm a creature of habit, I'm still using fraps, even though that destroys your hard drive space. And yes, I have seen uh, The Outlaw King. I love that movie. Like, I feel like that followed history, the historical narrative a lot better than Braveheart did. 
Uh, granted, I still think Braveheart's a better movie, but I liked the Outlaw King for what it did and try to and try to stay uh, closer to the historical narrative. And yeah, Fraps files are huge. And I will move on from Fraps eventually. It's it's hard. It's again, I'm I'm a person of habit. Anyways, guys, I have to uh, end this stream now. So I want to thank everyone for coming out. If I didn't answer your questions in the chat, I do apologize. You can always post your questions in the comments. I'll try to answer it there if I didn't see it here. Hey, uh, Green Shiva Master, uh, I'm actually ending the stream now. But uh, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you, Lear, for the advice. Thank you, Jade, for stopping by. Fristy, thank you. Call of Duty, thank you, man. Thank you, Leo. And yeah, sorry, Green Chief, I'm leaving now. I, I have to get ready for, I have to prepare my equipment for tomorrow's RC uh, filming. I'm filming my, uh, my Dukes of Hazard RC cars tomorrow. Thank you, Special Forces. And thank you. I'll tell my girlfriend you said hi. And thank you, House Bartzini. Thank you for coming to my stream. Thank you, uh, Zenquex. I'll see you next time. Thank you, Anglais Berry. Love you too. Anybody else? Thank you guys. I'm gonna end the stream now, so if I don't say bye, I did say bye. In spirit. Thanks, Nicholas. You are also the man. Alright, thank you guys. Remember, uh, post your comments in my uh, comment section. Take care, Michael Bueno. Wait, how do I do this? Oops. End stream.